Welcome. In front of me is an Acer Iconia 110. Um, and today I'll show you the bypass for this device. So if your tablet is locked as this one is, I can simply bypass it by uh, doing a little bit of a trickery here. So to get started, we're gonna go back to the first page. Now you do want to be connected to Wi-Fi, obviously, and because otherwise you wouldn't be seeing the verification screen. Um, now once you connect to it, uh, go back to the first page, choose vision settings. From here, you're gonna go to TalkBack, enable it, tap on OK. Talkback is a screen reader primarily for people with blindness and low vision. Now I'll mute it because uh, what it's saying it doesn't really matter. But once you see this page right here, what you want to do is on the screen, uh, no particular way, just draw an L as a letter L. There we go. Now, by muting it, it didn't want to accept it because it had the panel over it. So getting rid of it solved the problem. Now, from here, uh, once you open that menu by drawing an L, you want to tap on TalkBack settings, double tap it. And this will take you to the TalkBack settings. So in here, we're going to go to, um, well, number one, before we go anywhere, we're going to disable the TalkBack. So you want to uh, hold volume up and volume down, both of the keys at the same time. This will give you the suspend talkback, tap on OK, double tap it, and now we can normally use our device. So once you have suspended it, we can now scroll down to help and feedback. There we go, help and feedback, right almost at the bottom of the page. And in here, you want to tap on a little magnifying glass, to search for uh, use Morse code. Now, all we need to do really is type in two letters, MO, and it will bring it up as a suggested use Morse code. Select it. And as you can see, there is a video. You wanna tap on it, give it a second, and it will give us a three dot option. Once you see it, you wanna tap on it and then choose Damn it, I didn't want to open it. Uh, let's see. Let's close it and try it again. You want to tap on three that option and not the video itself. There we go. So once you tap on it, it gives you a watch later option. And when you tap on it, it opens up the web browser. Let's accept and continue. And we don't want to sign in. And once you're on your web uh, web browser, tap right at the top and type in hardreset.info. Like so. And in here, you want to select the download category right here. And from here, we're looking for, or we're gonna search for Android 7.1.2. And as you can see, there should be only one result. Click on the download right here. Scroll down again and select download once more. Continue. And allow. Okay. Now it should be, oh, there we go, done downloading. Once it is, click on open. And before we can install it, we will need to go into these settings. 
And in here you want to scroll down to the unknown sources, enable it, confirm it, and also we're going to go to the device administrator while we're here, select the or deselect the find my device and deactivate this device administrator. And now we can go back, go back once more. And as you can see, the installation page is now closed. So let's tap on the three dots right here and go to the downloads. There we go, downloads. And you should have only one thing here, which is the application that we have downloaded. And now we can install it. So next and install. Now that it's done installing, you want to click on done, go back, you want to get back to the search page right here, and then type in settings. Actually, I'm going to try something. Uh, we can either download the application settings one, or I'm going to see if this will work. So I'll remove where I am right now and type in bypass at the end of the that info which here i do have an application called settings and i'm just gonna check if it yep it does work so as you just seen i'm gonna go back here just so you can see the address so it's hard reset info slash bypass and from here you at the bottom will find the settings application when you tap on it you don't need to download anything it just opens up your settings on the phone or tablet so in here we're gonna scroll down to apps and then tap on the three dots and go to show system and then scroll down to uh, G we're looking for first Google account manager okay, there we go Google account manager is the first one and you want to select disable, disable app, and then go back. And next thing you're looking for is Google Play services. So right over here. And for some reason just shifted, so I missed it. There we go. So Google Play services, again, select disable, disable app. And now you want to go back, go back once more. And in here, we're gonna now, oh, whoops, went too far. So in here in the settings page, you wanna now scroll down to accounts, select add account and choose Google. And here, simply log in with your Google account. Now, you do have a button right here to create the Google account. Uh, I haven't really tested it out. I don't know how well it works because right now uh, this Google login page is uh, done or showing up strictly because of the first application that we have installed. Without that application, Google as a account option does not appear when the device is locked. So anyway, I'm gonna log in with my existing account, which you can do as well uh, if you have already a Google account, or you can create, for instance, one on your computer and then use it to log in here. Now I'm gonna put in a password for it. So I'm gonna move the tablet off the screen. And I misspelled my password. There we go. So now, let's select that we agree. 
and you'll probably see this uh, pop up several more more times throughout the setup that's completely fine uh, it doesn't really matter just click somewhere on the screen to get rid of it so once you are logged into your google account you want to go back to applications or apps in the settings and again select show system and scroll again down to g we're looking again for google account manager this time around we're going to select enable go back and google play services enable once you've enabled both of those applications you want to hold power key and select restart Gives us the pop-up with TalkBack suspended once I put it up, so I'm just going to get rid of it. And as you can see, we're now back in the setup screen, so let's go through it. Now it looks like TalkBack isn't actually suspended. As you can see, it's selecting the object, so again, hold volume up and volume down. Suspend TalkBack, OK. And now let's get going with the setup. Now, once it loads up uh, the verification page, you should see an information that account was added and it should provide you the account that you have used to log in. So for me, as you can see, it's the one that I have used in the, throughout the bypass. So all we need to do now is tap on next. Now, before you go clicking on the video, um, the process is still not finished. We need to do one additional thing. Uh, this only allows us to finish up the setup, but the device still has the lock on it. So now, once we get access to the home screen, uh, we will want to perform a factory data reset. Now, once I actually get access to my home screen, I'm going to show you where to find it, uh, but I'm not going to go through it because once you go through the factory reset, you're back in the setup screen once it's completed after like two minutes, uh, at which point you can set up your device however you like. So that will be just a waste of time uh, for something that once you reset your device, there is not much more to do. The device will be unlocked. So anyway, select not now. Come on. There we go. Give it a second once it loads apps. Okay, so you want to navigate into the settings once you are on the home screen. From here, scroll all the way down to backup and reset. Select factory data reset, reset tablet, and then once you tap on erase everything, this will begin factory reset of the device which will in turn fully unlock this device now like i said before it will bring you back to the setup screen that's completely fine but once you're in the setup screen after the factory reset the device is fully unlocked so you don't have to connect to wi-fi you can skip that uh, you don't have to verify anything the device is fully unlocked so you can do whatever you want with it and set it up however you like now i'm not going to go through it just to save save on time uh, it's fairly self-explanatory after you reset it so anyway and that is how you would bypass the Google verification on this device. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.